Tutorial 5 3D View Editing of 3D View Orientation From the previous tutorials, we know how to insert 3D model in the PDF file and how to test its outcome with Adobe Reader. In this video session, we will show how to change the properties of your views with 3D PDF Maker making use of 3D View basic features. In the later sessions, you will see how to create new views, modify their other properties and add links to images and texts. As always, we will make use of a specific file from the tutorial. In the 3D PDF Maker, open the file Tutorial 5.1 and zoom it in accordingly. This is the area with a 3D model. Click once on the area to select it, then double-click it to open the Edit 3D dialog box. Now click on Cancel and let's look at an alternative way of 3D model selection and editing. Click on Selection tool, then on the Model area and finally on the tool Edit Selected 3D element to open the Edit 3D dialog. The Edit 3D dialog box opens up. When the area is selected, the same result can be achieved with a double click. The Edit 3D dialog offers the tabs Launch Settings, 3D Views and Navigation. In 3D Views, we are clicking on the only view available at this moment, Default View, and then on Edit Default View View Position. The 3D View dialog opens up. By using the View buttons, you can define the required orientation and the zoom level of the 3D model view. We are using the terms rotation of a model and of the axis, though it is obvious that in fact we are dealing only with a view orientation setting. To get a better idea how two different types of rotation function, we will click the following sequence of the view buttons. Top view, bottom view, left view, right view, front view and back view. Make the front view active. Click on the spin button relative to the rotation around the axis and holding down the left mouse button, move in horizontally. In this way, the model will turn around the z-axis. Again, make the front view active and, holding down the left mouse button, move vertically. In this way, the model will turn around the x-axis. Now, enable the top view and try the same tool. And finally, enable the right view. In this case, the vertical movement will trigger rotation around the y-axis. When the model is correctly imported, with these combinations you can get any type of model orientation. Anyway, the 3D view dialog also offers the spin button. At this point, enable the back view. Click on the spin tool and, holding down the left mouse button, move in horizontally. The model rotates around itself, that is around the axis perpendicular to the screen, the y-axis in this case. Have a try with any view. The spin button always makes the model turn around itself, that is around the axis perpendicular to the screen. When rotation is enabled, the spin command is performed by holding down the shift key. To rotate a model 90 degrees clockwise or counterclockwise, there are the spin buttons with an icon of arrows correspondingly directed. An increase to 90 degrees is calculated from the current orientation. With the rotate and spin combinations, you will obtain any type of the modal orientation. To zoom in or out, you can do it either by using the mouse scroll wheel or by clicking on the relative button. For shifting or panning, hold down together the left and right mouse buttons or click on the button with the hand icon. As a way of summing up, when the rotate button is enabled, to zoom, use the mouse scroll wheel. To pan, hold down both left and right mouse buttons, and to spin, hold down the shift key. This is an alternative way to orientate your model the way you want, not clicking on the respective tools. 
you lose control of zooming, click on the Zoom Extends tool, which always positions the model in the center of the 3D view dialog box. When a new orientation of the view is defined, save it by clicking the button with an icon of the green check mark. Being default view, 3D PDF Maker prompts you to choose whether you want to update the preview, namely an image of the corresponding 3D model that will appear in the PDF file. Confirm with yes, then press OK. The model orientation and preview have been changed. Clicking the button Show Preview with Adobe Reader, you will be able to test the completed work. We've handled the only view present in the PDF file, the default view. In the same way, you will be able to edit the orientation and zoom of any view of a 3D model. Now quit Adobe Reader, go back to 3D PDF Maker and close the PDF document without saving it. For hands-on training on insertion and rotation of 3D models, we have prepared some tutorial files with real models. Open the file Tutorial 5.3, zoom it properly, press Add 3D and select an area to insert the 3D model of the laboratory. Without changing the default settings, click on Convert from file, choose to insert a U3D file and select the file tutorial 53 laboratoryuthree d from the 3D PDF Maker tutorial folder. The 3D View dialog box appears letting you optimize it. The model is already correctly positioned, then click the Confirm button. Zoom Rotate and center the model, and then confirm clicking the button with the green check mark in the upper left corner. The 3D model has been imported in the PDF file. Clicking on the button Show Preview with Adobe Reader, the PDF file is opened in Adobe Reader, where you can appreciate the completed work. Before exiting Adobe Reader, you can save the PDF you have created in the My 3D PDF folder, giving a name to the file. Now quit Adobe Reader, close the PDF document without saving it, go to the examples and open the file outfittedvan.pdf. Press Show Preview with Adobe Reader to display the 3D model. When clicking on the left image, you enable the view with several parts hidden. While clicking on the right image, you enable the slideshow. Quit Adobe Reader, close the PDF document in Examples and open the file pumpplant.pdf. Press Show Preview with Adobe Reader to display also this 3D PDF example. When clicking on the left image, you enable the view with the illustration rendering mode. While clicking on the right image, you enable the slideshow. Quit Adobe Reader and close the PDF document. You may carry on mastering 3D view usage with PDF files from the examples section saving different view orientations and evaluating these changes in Adobe Reader.